Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the fuzzy subgraph. Already we seen the fuzzy graph in the last video. So today we cover the fuzzy subgraph. Fuzzy subgraph is like a concept of the normal subgraph. What is the subgraph? The graph H is a subset of the graph G. Then we see that graph H is a subgraph of G, right? In which the graph H is called a fuzzy subgraph of G. That is the vertex fuzzy set tau and the edge fuzzy set rho A or the subset of the vertex fuzzy set sigma and the edge fuzzy set mu right of the graph g right which means tau of x less than or equal to sigma of x and rho of x comma y less than or equal to mu of x comma y right and for the fuzzy subgraphs or contains following three types for self fuzzy subgraph induced fuzzy subgraph and spanning fuzzy subgraph now we consider the partial fuzzy subgraph it is also like a fuzzy subgraph right that is the membership value of the graph h is smaller than to the membership value of the graph g that is tau less than or equal to sigma and rho less than or equal to mu and tau and rho are the vertex and the edge fuzzy set of the graph h respectively therefore the graph h is called a partial fuzzy subgraph of g which means the membership values of the graph H is less than or equal to the membership value of the graph G. Now consider one example, the vertex set V, A, B, C, D. And we define the vertex membership value of the graph H. And also we define the edge membership value of the graph H. Right? And we put any values between 0 and 1, not only these values. Right? Now we compare the membership value of the graph H and G. And G, the membership value of the graph G is already we defined by our last video in the fuzzy graph. These values, now we take these values to the graph G. Right? And we put these values to the original graph G and compare the membership values of the graph G and H. Okay. Already I have, I kept the screenshot of these values, right? The vertex at A, B, C, D and define the membership values of the graph G. Now, sigma of A is the membership vertex membership value of the graph G and the tau is the membership value of the graph H. Now tau of b 0.8 is less than or equal to sigma of b 0.9 and tau of c is equal to 0.7 is less than or equal to sigma of z equal to 1 and so on. Also we satisfy the rho less than or equal to mu the edge membership values. Rho of a comma b is equal to 0.3 is less than or equal to mu of a comma b is equal to 0.4 and so on. Finally we remember one thing. These values are taken from our assumption but whereas the property on holds that is this is the partial fuzzy subgraph. Induced fuzzy subgraph. It is also like a induced subgraph. What is induced subgraph? Now we consider the graph G and we take some elements in the graph G and we form the new graph H by that elements. Therefore, we say that the new graph H is called a induced subgraph of G. One thing we will remember, if the elements of the graph G is satisfy some conditions, also the elements of the H or satisfy the same condition. Because the elements of the H is taken from G. Now we consider the graph H. Then H is called a induced fuzzy subgraph of G. That is the vertex set B of H is a subset of the vertex set V of G. That is, we take some elements in the graph G and we form the set by that elements that the set is called P. So, the membership values are same. That is, the membership value of the graph H is same as the graph G, which means tau of x equal to sigma of x for all x belongs to capital P and the rho of x comma y is equal to mu of x comma y for all x comma y belongs to P. Now, consider the example let p is equal to abc which is the vertex set of the graph h and also which is subset of the original graph g and we define the vertex membership values of the graph h and also we define the edge membership values now we consider the membership values of the graph g and here we see that the membership values will be same because p subset of v the elements are same also the membership values are same that is tau of a is equal to 0 0.5 also the sigma of a is equal to 0 0.5 tau of b is equal to 0 0.9 also sigma of b is equal to 0 0.9 and so 0. Point, rho of a comma b is equal to 0 0.4 and so mu of a comma b is 0 0.4 and so on this graph will look like this right now spanning fuzzy subgraph it's like a spanning subgraph what is the spanning subgraph a spanning subgraph is a subgraph that contains all the vertices of the original graph 
it just doesn't matter consider the graph g and the number of vertices of the graph g is 8 and consider the new graph h and also the number of vertices are same as 8 so we say that the graph h is a spanning subgraph of the graph g so clearly that the quantity will be same the elements are same as the two graphs g and h that is spanning subgraph so the same concept are following the first spanning fuzzy subgraph so here the graph g is equal to sigma comma mu and the graph h is equal to tau comma rho right so we say that the graph H is the spanning fuzzy subgraph of the graph G if the elements of the graph H is same as the elements of the graph G. That is the elements will be same also the membership values are same but the edge membership values whatever may be values assigned but the vertex membership values are same that is sigma is equal to tau. That is the spanning fuzzy subgraph the subgraph contains all the vertices in the original graph. Now consider the example let v is equal to a b c d and we define the vertex membership values of the graph h and also we define the edge membership values of the graph h and consider the membership value of the original graph g here tau of a is equal to 0 0.5 and sigma of a is equal to 0 0.5 tau of b is equal to 0 0.9 and sigma of v is equal to 0 0.9 and so on so the membership values are same so finally we got it this condition sigma is equal to tau is satisfied also here the edge membership values may or may not be same so we need only the condition sigma is equal to tau that is the spanning fuzzy subgraph the diagram will look like this